Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today on Rust Beards and Gear, I'm gonna check out the new Tom Morello plugin from Neural DSP. So Neural DSP just came out with a new guitar amp sim plugin, the Archetype Tom Morello. Now this is exciting for a couple of different reasons. I'm excited for it because, you know, I think Tom really brought a fresh take on guitar playing back in the early 90s and has continued to do so all of these years. Also, it's not some, you know, prog bro or gent bro releasing another plugin, which is also cool. And um, I like the fact that it's it's going to be, we'll dive into it in a little bit, but it's going to be a little left of center from what we normally see in a guitar amp sim plugin. It's going to be very Tom Morello, I suspect. Now, I have played Tom Morello's uh, Arm the Homeless guitar. Um, I was an instructor at his uh, guitar camp right before COVID started. And yeah, this is, uh, is going to be pretty cool. I have not tried this plugin. I have just made sure that I'm able to record the audio. But for all intents and purposes, I actually haven't tried it yet. I purchased it legit. This is not sponsored by Neural DSP. This is just me checking out this plugin because I'm really, really curious about it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab my guitar. Let's dive right in. Okay, so the first thing upon opening up the plugin is this is basically a digital recreation of Tom's 2210 50 watt Marshall JCM 800. I love the dirtiness and just how beat up the amp has become. It legit looks like this and the markings on the panel are all awesome. I just, I love this whole aesthetic immediately. Let's go through the sections currently. Obviously we're in the um, amplifier section. We have a, the dive bomb. We have the whammy. We have equalizer, delay, phaser. This is basically his pedal board. We have his cabinet, his actual PV412 cabinet that he's never opened up. We have post EQ. And then we have post delay and reverb. Okay. Let's go back to the amp. I am using my custom Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray RS. Now I have my signature Fishman pickup in the bridge. I have it pulled on voice too. So I'm in a passive Duncan JB voicing. Okay. I haven't touched anything in this plugin yet. <laughs> That's the sound. <laughs> That's the sound. You know the sound. I'm really curious about the cabinet. That is so cool. Like that's the sound and it's not using a 57. Let's change it to a 57 though. That is, that is really, really cool. Is there multiple multiple channels on here? Oh, yep, yep, there sure is. It's very crunchy. It's that, you know, it's the, it's a cranked up 800. And I love it. One cool thing about the Morello is this doubler that I read about. I don't know what I think it's going to double the Oh, okay. It's it's a it's a stereo effect, a pseudo stereo effect. I'm gonna keep that off for the video. But did Tom make presets? Well, he did. Cochise intro helicopter. That's so cool. That's awesome. That's a lot of fun. Let's go. Killing in the name. Solo. Can't remember how to play that riff. 
I'm tuned down as well. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, this one would be, uh, the Lack of Stone solo would be with the Whammy, right? I'm trying to do this with one hand, guys, sorry. <laughs> Tom Rhythm Guitar. That is so cool. I'm still the Cochise intro for the helicopter. <laughs> That's awesome. I I really enjoy the sound of this plugin as well. This is really, really cool. I'm just gonna do that. This, I'm gonna literally pull up this plugin and just be like. End demo. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna go back to his rhythm guitar. Let's play with the speakers. It's, uh, the cabinet strikes me as pretty crunchy, which kind of adds to the 800, uh, because, you know, an 800 is fairly clean, so, and he's not using a boost. And when he does use a boost, he's just using the uh, EQ with the volume up, right? there. As you can see right here, they've replicated that as well. That is very, very cool. I do wish there was the addition of, instead of the phaser, the flanger. At the beginning of Killing in the Name. He used a boss, uh, I think it was a... It was the, the flanger, the second iteration of the flanger, the FL2 or FA2 or whatever it was called. Um, the classic 80s flanger. I wish I wish I had that instead of the phaser because the phaser is something that he switched to years later. But this is his current pedal board, right? So makes a lot of sense. Wait, what is the setting on the delay for the... That's so sick. This plugin is already wor worth my money. Hundred full full stop. That is so cool. Let's play with this. I don't I don't know what this is doing. I don't think this is doing anything right now. Oh, I I could control this via MIDI. I think that's the, uh, there's also a detuner. What? Go right here. There's a detuner. Whoa, that track's pretty damn good. That is pretty impressive. This is as good as the Gujira one. I'm sure it's probably, you know, very, very similar, maybe slightly refined by now. I don't know. But that is very, very good. This is a pretty simple plugin, if I'm totally honest. I mean, you got you got your cab section, you got a couple of effects. Notice, notice there is no actual overdrive pedal, which I believe might be the first time that Neural DSP has not included any overdrive pedal 
in one of their plugins. I think even the Wong has one, doesn't it? Doesn't it have like a little bit, bit of a dirt pedal or something like that? Correct me if I'm wrong. But that's pretty cool and ballsy and a testament to they're really just kind of replicating Tom's vision. Of course, down here in the left-hand corner, we have tuner and a metronome if we want to practice our solos or something like that. Um, pretty cool. This doubler, I, I'm just realizing I had it spread way out. Pretty cool. Uh, this plugin currently, when you buy it, if you're not a returning customer, I think it's 110 euros, which is about 125, 130 American dollars, roughly. Um, if you're a returning customer, they give you a little bit of a discount. I think it ended up being $100 for me because I've bought stuff from them before. Pretty cool. I really like this. I could absolutely see myself using this in mix situations for just that really nice 800 sound. What's different about this is it has Tom's cabinet and the 800 sound isn't as quonky as a lot of the 800 plugins that are out there from, you know, like Universal Audio, for example. So this is cool and a welcome addition to the Neural DSP plugin family. This is really, really good and a lot of fun. If you're a Tom Morello fan at all, but big rock tone fan, you should definitely check this out. I will link down below in the description. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.